Rory, welcome to the show. And I'm just wondering, what did you think when you saw all of those bees on your housemate's car, which I know that you use? Uh, well, we were just a bit sort of confused. We've never seen anything like that before um, down here in Portsmouth. Um, I've not seen it before. So probably confusion was the first thing we thought. Probably pretty perplexed, I would imagine. And is this something, I mean, have you seen a lot of bees in the neighborhood before, even if not quite in this concentration? No, I mean, we see the odd bee or two uh, floating around in the summer, but nothing in that sort of numbers. Okay, so you're sitting there, you're standing there. Of course, you take video of it, all, uh, all important. But in the end, you need to get the bees off the car. So who do you call about something like this? Well, we tried calling the council, and um, the best option they could offer us was to call a beekeeper. So we um, got a number off them and uh, phoned up the beekeeper, and we can get through to him, but a neighbor managed to. And he came around later in the day and um, sort of got rid of them for us. So we see a picture of this. Sort of explain, as you were watching, what did he do in order to get rid of the bees, and how long did it take? Uh, well, it probably took a couple of hours because um, first he had to sort of take a bunch of bees and pop them into a basket, um, and he hoped he'd got the queen bee in there and pop that on top of the roof, and the rest of the bees followed the queen. So they all sort of took their time to go back up there, but eventually I think we got all of them out. So he put the queen in the basket and the rest just sort of followed suit? Yeah, it was a bit of, I think it was a bit of a luck thing, though, because with the number of bees there, it's sort of just grab a handful, pop them in, and hope for the best.